exploring the possibility of crossbreeding Sulawesi shrimp, an intriguing endeavor. Is it even possible to crossbreed Sulawesi shrimp? It's a question that I often get asked. Let's discuss this interesting topic. Welcome everyone. This is Ray from RW Aquarium Pages. I'm here to share my journey in planted aquariums, shrimp tanks, and everything in between. Dwelling into the world of Sulawesi shrimp breeding has been a thrilling journey for me for the past two decades. It's a realm filled with both triumphs and setbacks, where each day brings new lessons. One question that frequently arises in the minds of hobbyists is whether different Sulawesi shrimp species can crossbreed. I've personally experimented with mixing various Caradina shrimp species, such as blue-legged pulso with white orchids, and white socks with tequeries and harlequin, and I'm here to share my observations and insights. Crossbreeding possibility. Online research often suggests that crossbreeding Sulawesi shrimp is possible, although it's considered a rarity. In my experience, I've noticed that Caradina shrimp, like tigers and bees, tend to show a preference for breeding within their own kind. However, this does not negate the possibility of crossbreeding altogether. It's essential to remember that these shrimp all belong to the same genus, Caradina, which may play a role in the potential to hybridize. Selective breeding versus crossbreeding. Selective breeding is a common practice leading to the development of unique variations like the blue ghost, which is derived from white socks, and also the galaxy Sulawesi. However, in this discussion, we're going to focus on crossbreeding, a more complex and intriguing phenomenon. Personal observations. In my Sulawesi aquariums, I haven't observed any of these clear instances of crossbreeding, but I remain open to the possibility. The key lies in the potential for inbreeding between species that share a common genius. Exploring crossbreeding. Recently, I had an interesting conversation with a fellow Sulawesi breeder named Wayne. He's local to me. He approached me with photos of Sulawesi shrimp that appeared to be potential crossbreeds. These images kindly shared by Wayne have sparked my curiosity. A central question here is whether the crossbreed Sulawesi shrimp will be fertile. In some animal species, such as mules, which is cr the crossbreeds are infertile. I had to look up the reason from the internet and it mentioned the horse has 64 chromosomes or 32 pairs and the donkey has 62, which is 31 pairs. When they are mated, the mule receives 63 chromosomes, 32 from the horse and 31 from the donkey. During meiosis, the chromosomes are not in pairs when the number, when, as the number is half, the sex cells usually end up without a complete set. With this definition, crossbreed Sulawesi shrimp should be fertile, and of course, that's in theory. To determine the fertility of these crossbreed shrimp, one strategy would, would be to let them to breed within the main colony until a substantial number, say 15, has emerged. At that point, they can be separated and systematically bred to determine if their offspring remain fertile and can pass on unique traits to the next generations. These three images looks like a white socks and a harlequin mix with patterns from each one. A fascinating opportunity. This endeavor could be an excited project for Wayne and anyone else interested in Sulawesi shrimp breeding. For my part, I would certainly consider taking up the challenge if I noticed 15 or more crossbred shrimp in my own Sulawesi tank. It's an opportunity to unravel the mysteries of crossbreeding with this fascinating genius. Have you observed any signs of crossbreeding among your Sulawesi shrimp? I'd love to hear about your experiences and insights on this intriguing topic. I absolutely love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone. 
It's just so exciting to document my adventure in planted shrimp tanks and to share it with others. Stay tuned for more informative videos as I've got plenty of content in store for you. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day and happy shrimp keeping. Thanks for watching.